Hi everyone, this is Dave. It's been a long, long time since I've done an editing room tour and a lot has changed since the last one. So it gives me great pleasure to bring you my editing room tour for early 2016. So I'm gonna start on this side of the editing room first. And the first thing you'll see is this set of drawers. And this is used for primarily storage of data cables, audio cables, solid state drives, memory upgrades, etc. But you'll notice that the actual top surface is pretty clear and that's because there's going to be a new addition to the editing room very soon and I'll share that with you in a separate video. Moving on we've got something I haven't installed yet very interesting little product very useful this is an Incipio desktop charging station it quite simply gives me two additional USB charging ports on top of my desk and it's coloured in gold one of my favourite colours. Moving across here you'll see an IKEA desk. This is a Galant desk. It's primarily used for storage at the moment. Underneath we've got some shoes and bits and pieces that I've actually featured on the Luxury Lifestyle channel. We've got some little cable storage areas just down here as well. On the top section, we've got yet more storage for items that have been on the Luxury Lifestyle channel. And moving over here, we've got something that I've actually reviewed on the main channel in a different model. This is the Aventry Powerhouse Plus. I've just reviewed the Powerhouse previously. This is higher rated, total of eight amps of output, and it's a nice little docking sort of charge station for your various tablets and smartphones. I've got my Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 on there at the moment. And it's just a really neat solution for charging your devices. Over the back there, we've got a little sneak peek at some of the books I've been reading lately. And then off to the right hand side, we've got the Brother DCP9015 CDW. This is a full color laser printer with a scanner on top. Again, there is a separate video for this on the channel and I'll leave a link in this video's description. Just on top of there is the new production camera for the Geek and Noise channel and my other business ventures. And this is the Sony PXW FS5, a fantastic super 35 millimeter 4K capable video camera. And then just above this, we've got what I call the Geek Shelf. This is a mixture of luxury lifestyle products and also some of the little geeky products I like. On the left hand side here is my Steve Jobs figure. Absolutely love this. We've got some Apple products here, including an iPod Nano. Look at that, very, very cool. And then over to the right, we have got my Lego Volkswagen camper van and some pop vinyl figures. In the corner there, you'll see a light. This is a very nice mica light from Yellowtech. So now what you're seeing is some acoustic foam. This is AIX foam, and this really improves the acoustic quality of this room. When I do my voiceovers, it just really takes out all of the echo and makes for a very nice audio experience. Now before I show you what's on the desk behind the chair, let's show you the chair itself. This is my Herman Miller chair. Again, there is a video about this on the channel and it is super comfortable. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to invest in a really good chair. If you're sitting for prolonged periods of time, then it's good to have a really good seating position, good ergonomics, and something that's gonna last a long, long time. Now let's take a look at the main desk behind the chair. Now this area of the editing room is probably what's seen the most changes since my last video. And we'll start by taking a look underneath the desk. And this has been tidied up a lot. Now on the left hand side here, we've obviously got the late 2013 Mac Pro. Got a couple of hard drives here as well. The one on the left is a five terabyte one, which backs up some of my video work. Then we've got a two terabyte one, which clones the Mac Pro. Then we've got an eight way USB three hub and charger. This is really cool. The blue ones that you see lit up in blue are for charging or data and then the red ones are for charging only. And then behind this cupboard is a 12-way power strip, one of two in the editing room. Now, one of the big changes I've made is in this cupboard here. I used to keep my Lassie 5 Big Thunderbolt hard disk array in here, and it did generate too much heat. So I've taken that out, and the only bit of electronics inside this cupboard is the Belkin Gigabit Ethernet switch, which manages all of the network attached devices inside this particular room. If we go back on top of the desk and we look over here, this is some of the new storage I've introduced and there is another hard drive that's due to be delivered. I'm still waiting for it to be delivered. I'll tell you about that in a short while. Now basically the new video editing hard drive is this one here. This is a Western Digital MyBook Pro 
12 terabytes RAID 0 for optimal performance and this is what I do all of my 4K and 1080p video editing on. It's more than capable of handling the data throughput. It's a really good performer. And then next to this is a Lucy 2 big Thunderbolt 2 hard drive and this mirrors this so every day at the end of the day this hard drive is backed up to this hard drive and then i'm also waiting for another one of these to be delivered and this will go into this position here and it will be an additional backup and that means i can move one to another machine if i want to or indeed if i have any hard drives failed on here i've got a backup or a clone every day of my video editing and then next to this we've got a lexar uh, workflow I think it's called this is the uh, HR2 model so this is Thunderbolt connected and you can put in various modules into these slots I've got an SD card reader at the top here I've got on order a micro SD card reader with three slots and you can get things like solid state drives uh, C fast readers etc etc and these pull out and you can actually attach them via USB 3 as well but it's connected via Thunderbolt at the moment over the back there you can just see some pens and a little bamboo stand and then we've got the PreSonus speaker, this is the left hand speaker, the Ceres 4.5 BT Bluetooth speaker or hardwired. Again there's a video of these on the channel so I'll leave a link to that in the video description. And then on top of that we've just got a headphone hanger, very cool indeed. So now let's move across and have a look at the displays. So you can see here I'm running a dual display setup, more than enough for what I need in the editing room. The right hand display here is a new addition. This is a Samsung 32 inch 4K monitor. There is a video about this on the main channel. Again, a link will be in the video description. It's been calibrated with my monitor calibrator here, which is the X-Rite i1 Display Pro. The colour reproduction is fantastic, the resolution is brilliant, I'm really enjoying using this display. Now I did consider getting two 4K displays but one is plenty enough and my secondary, secondary display is an Apple Thunderbolt display. Again this is just purely for monitoring my Twitter feed. Uh, websites etc notes whilst I'm doing video voiceovers and it just works really well I'm really pleased with how this dual display setup is working for me now underneath the monitors we've got some little accessories I've got my Moleskine diary and notebooks I use them regularly I've got a little charger here for an external battery pack I've got my old USB 3 SD card reader as a backup there I've got a Rode microphone I've also got my GoPro Hero 4 Silver and then we've got some little cables poking out the back. This is used for charging, lightning connector. I didn't show you this one over here. That's for my power book. That's the Apple charger. And the actual power book is on the desk as well. I use this on occasion just for keeping notes. And when I'm actually editing off location, then this is a really powerful 15.4 inch Retina MacBook Pro. My keyboard of choice is this, this is a Logitech Soda keyboard. I think it's model number K750, let's just check that for you. Yeah, it is the K750 from Logitech. It's actually really good because it's wireless, but it draws on the light of the room to recharge the battery. Very, very good indeed. And then we've got my Apple Magic Trackpad 2. Underneath the desk on this side, we have got some additional storage, and we've also got a paper shredder and we go back on top of the desk, just round here, we have got some more Moleskine goodness. We've got my other PreSonus speaker. We've got a microphone boom arm just here. And then here is the Rode PSA1. This is an arm for my uh, Rode NT USB microphone. This is what I use for my voiceovers. And it just allows me to sort of bring the microphone down in front of the monitor whilst I'm doing the voiceover and then when it's not in use it allows me to put it back out of the way. All works very well. I'm really pleased with how the editing room has certainly uh, evolved over the years and I'm really pleased with the type of content that I'm able to create here. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions about any of the products you've seen in the video please do leave me a comment below. Thank you again for watching. Have a fantastic new year. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you in another video very soon.